Let's see this question. Well, given this equation, m squared minus 4m plus 6 times n squared plus 12n plus 40 equals to 8. And we're asked to find the sum of those two variables, m plus n. So how to do this? We have two variables. Um, maybe we can make a perfect squares. Let's say from this one, we have m squared minus 4m. And we need a plus 4 to make a perfect square. Then 6 minus 4, we should have 2. And this one, 12. 12 divided by 2 is a 6. Then 6 squared is 36. So we want to split 40 as 36 plus 4. Then this 3 gives us a perfect square. These three give us a perfect square, right? Remember perfect square, let me remind you, a minus b square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Then a plus b square plus a square plus 2ab plus b square. Right. In our case, we have m. So this first one, this one, has m minus 2. Because negative 4m, that's negative 2ab. And a is m, so negative 2b. Negative 2b is negative 2m in this case is negative 2b. Right. So that's why we have 2. So m minus 2 squared plus 2 of 6 minus 4, we have these 2 left. Then the second one, second factor, we have n plus 6 squared, then plus 4. That equals the 8. Well, let's observe this. So if we're treating this one, let's see, as 8. We're treating this one as a B. So if we multiply this, then this one we know that right, square has to be greater than or equal to zero in real number system. If you square a number, it cannot be negative. It has to be at least zero. So if you zero plus two, zero plus four, you see this is eight, two plus four, that's eight. And if this is non-zero, if neither one is zero, that would be greater than eight. But we have this equation here, so that forces these two squares to be zero. Okay, that's it. So m minus two square has to be equals to zero. Cannot be greater than zero, otherwise it wouldn't be equal to eight. And m plus six square also has to be zero, right? That means m minus two is zero. That m plus six is zero. That forces m to be two forces n to be negative six. So then m plus n is a two plus negative six, which is negative four. Okay, special questions like this always needs some, some special strategy. So in this case, we see we have to complete two squares because squares in real number system, the least value is zero. So we use that property.